No, this is not like Black Friday where people are lined up waiting to come in, but you do want to actually be there early. Oh, doing my dance. Hey, I'm doing my dance. Don't mind me. I'm doing my dance. What's up? My name is Adana. If you haven't already done so, please take a look around my channel. Go ahead and subscribe if you like what you see and follow me on Instagram. So this video is going to be preparing for your interview. Yes, yes, you got an interview. So let's know how we should prepare for this interview the night before. It's very, 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 very nerve wracking and stressful and like just beyond measure, like pretty darn, you're just like sweating and shaking the boots, scary, the night before your interview. Um, so it's important that you can do everything you possibly can to actually like help alleviate some of that stress. And if you haven't already seen my how to prepare for your GRE video the night before this, um, can also translate to that because it's very similar. When you are preparing for your interview, very likely, very often, it's in a place that you are not familiar with. So, so some people do get interviews at locations that are close to their home, you know, in their home state. And, you know, good for you. I am happy for you, but that is not the norm for everyone. And so for those of you who are not necessarily familiar with the site, and even if you are familiar with the actual school and where their PA program is located, is also still important for you to do this dry run. Um, I've talked about it before. Uh, I've mentioned how I've been late because I didn't do a dry run, but it's important to do a dry run the night before so that you know exactly how um, to get to the interview site, you know, where it's located, you know where exactly uh, the door to enter into the building is so you're not lost, like looking around like, how do I get in here? Uh, you know, if there's any detours going on, any road work that will slow down traffic, you figure out, hey, is this the shortest route? Is there another route just in case I do have to make a detour? These are all things that you have to take into consideration when you are going to your interview because you don't wanna be late. And that's the worst thing that you could possibly ever do on your interview date is walk in late. Uh, it's like a red flag for everybody. And so when you are preparing for your interview, make sure that you do that dry run and make sure that you are on time. And on time means 30 to 45 minutes early. Like you don't wanna be that person who is like there and like they flip on the lights and you're already there. Like they're now starting <laughs> to actually put on, you know, try to set up and you're already there waiting. No, this is not like Black Friday. where people are lined up waiting to come in, but you do want to actually be there early enough to get settled in. You get to kind of see some of the other people come in. Um, you get to see and speak with some of the faculty that may be walking around or some of the class um, classes that may be ahead of you, the, those people in that cohort, you might be able to speak to them as well. And that allows you to just kind of get settled in and be comfortable. So make sure that you do the dry run and that you get there early. Make sure that you have a good night's rest. Um, you're well rested. You don't want to be walking in with like bags under your eyes because you know, you were up really late that night, uh, just kind of enjoying the town or whatever it is that people do when they go to interviews, especially if they go like a couple nights before and they may know people in the town. Like you don't want to do that. This is important. This is for a spot in PA school. It's a spot to help secure the career that you want. So treat it as such and get there, get to your hotel or wherever it is you're staying and make sure that you're there and in the bed at a decent time. Make sure that you have a really good breakfast. Some interviews are extremely long and so you, you need to know, hey, is this like a four hour interview? Is it a seven hour interview? Is it like an all day thing? Um, because some of these things are like about stamina, uh, some of these interviews and some of them are just like I want to kind of get you in and out I want to know who you are and then kind of send you on your way so you have no idea if they're going to feed you breakfast or if they're going to have like some little snacks typically they do but you want to make sure that you have a well-rounded breakfast prior to getting there because you know you don't want like something to happen you're like taking the snacks and then all of a sudden like it doesn't sit well with your stomach and now you're in the bathroom for the next three hours like that's not what you want you don't want that on your interview day so so um, you can pack your own snacks and you can also make sure that you have a well-rounded breakfast so that 
you're not starving, your stomach's not growling in your interview, and uh, you are prepared. Once you're there, actually ensure that, hey, you know, you're being nice to everyone, you're talking, and you just kind of ace this interview and you'll do fine. But I think that all of these things that I stated before will help you on your actual interview day if you do them prior and you prepare. I hope this was helpful. If you have any other questions for me, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And follow me on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!